Welcome back to our course. So in the last video, we talked about how do we calculate a simultaneous equation using the matrix method. And in this video, we're going to still be learning about how do we calculate simultaneous equation, but this time using another method. So what you do is go to applications, and in application, you can see there are many, many functions what we are going to be talking about later in our course. And now we just have to go to number nine. In number nine, you can see we have six, uh, we have five functions altogether, including uh, six is actually the quid. So now you see there's actually an official simultaneous equation solver. So you go to two and do enter. After you enter, you can choose how many equations do you have and how many unknowns. So unknown is basically x, y, and z, or a, b, c, which are the variables you don't know about. An equation is basically a number of clues you have. For instance, let's now look at our question for this video. So our first equation is 2x plus 5 equal to 6y, and we have add y plus 2 equal to x plus 1.5. So exactly, we have two equations and two unknowns, that is x and y. And other than that, we don't have to do anything because it automatically turn to gradient, uh, rate, uh, degree, which we don't have to care about, and we just can go next. Just do enter. Sorry, you, you have to go next, and actually next is here. Yeah. Okay, so, so in your calculator, well, why did that click grab? Because when, you, when it's strong in the real screen, next is actually here. So you are going to just click graph if you are using the real calculator. So remember, if it's a digital calculator, it can be a little bit confusing. Okay, so now we have to input our method. If you if you are um, the audience or student who've watched my last video, you will know that last in matrix method we have to turn the equation into the same order. For instance, two x plus five equal to six y, um, and the next equation must also start with x coefficient of x and number and y. But in this case, they already give us x and y, so we actually can navigate. Uh, we can actually freely decide on how to replace our equations. We don't have to change it specifically to be a, uh, to be uh, to be the same because it is, it is more straightforward compared to the matrix one. The matrix one can be a little bit more confusing. So our first equation is pretty straightforward. So we have 2x and our y. Since, this, um, since now x, y are on one side, I have to move this 6y onto, the, onto this side. So I think you guys know about this. It's pretty easy. I have to move 6 here and my 5 have to move. I have to move my 5 here. So my y now becomes negative 6. Remember, negative sign is different from the subtract sign. I'll do negative 6. And my, now my number is become negative 5 because I've been moving it to the right side, so I'll just input negative 5. So here's our first equation. And the second equation, we have to do a little bit of calculations. I left it, uh, I've, left, I've changed it a bit from the original one. So now, as you can see, they are not on the both sides, so we have to do some add-on calculations. So as you can see, we want x to be one side. So let's say x is on the right, uh, left side, so it will be negative x. Y will just leave it as usual, which is 1y. And now when we equal, we have to move 2 onto the right side. So it becomes negative 0.5. So we're going to input this into our, uh, into our calculator. So now it becomes negative x. So I'll just say negative 1 in this case. And for y, I'll make it uh, for y is 1. And this is negative 0.5. Definitely, you can also change the sign, actually. I don't want to confuse. But you can actually change the sign right here. So now it's addition, but you can also change to subtraction which means it is pretty helpful for you if you are, uh, for, for instance, if my one here is negative one, I, don't I can either do, I can either change the sign to negative, if I do here, you allow me to have this chance to press, and also I can input negative one here to let it become plus negative one, which is basically minus one. So I just want to clarify about that. Okay, so now we input both of our, our equations and we can now solve. Remember I told you that the screen is usually shown above the key, so actually I'll press graph. Because if you have the real calculator, solve actually is on top of the graph, so you can see it is pretty straightforward. It is just confusing if you're using the digital version. So I'll just uh, do graph, and boom, you already solved it for me. So if you are someone who watched my last video, you actually can finalize and conclude that this method, which is a method on apps, is much easier than the matrix method. So now we got x and y, and it's not confusing. It shows us which is x, which is y. But the matrix method doesn't show us. We have to infer by ourselves. So x is 2 and y is 1.5. Let's see whether it works. So let's go to and 3. Okay, so now let's check whether it works. So first of all, let's do 2 times, as I said just now, our answer is uh, x is 2. So 2 times 2 plus 5 is 9. And 9 just now over y is, over y is 1.5. So 9, uh, so 6, let's say 6 times 1.5 is nice. So our first equation is correct. Our second equation, let's just use this to prove it. Negative, negative 2 plus y is 3 
Why is 1.5? Sorry. Why is 1.5? Okay. Okay, guys. So this is a video on how do we calculate simultaneous equation. Remember, the, we are using number nine, which is a polynomial a simultaneous two. So um, in number nine, we can calculate our simultaneous equation. Okay, guys. So I see you in the next video where we are going to be learning about how do we do basic statistics in GID for calculator. I'll see you there. Bye.